Hello and welcome back to The Last Door! So, the new chapter's out, so now I get an opportunity to actually continue playing. Yeah. Um... Just made sure it worked before. It does seem to work, which is great. Headphones in the dark environment recommended. You hear that, everyone? Not that I can hear you respond, but... <sighs> oh my. It's very loud. Sorry, just going to edit on the fly here, so we don't go deaf. There we go. All is cold. <gasps> Doesn't sound very promising. All is silence. I like to think a man is slowly hyperventilating. Ooh. Ugh. Oh right, I was in a coffin. Oh no, we won't skip the credits. The credits are good, and people deserve to uh, have their name up here. They did make it, after all. He keeps telling me to skip, it's like the game wants me to skip them. But no, I will, I will sit here, it's fine. I have a bird like that just outside my window right now. I could, I, if I could show you, I would. I could, like... Hello! Go away! So he's looking at me funny. Don't mind me. You know how it is. Goddamn ravens. They never say never more, though. Except one on YouTube did, it was really weird. And he said, never more! Then he said, wacka 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 wacka. Which was confusing, because he was obviously not Pac-Man, he was indeed a raven, but, uh... He said wacka wacka wacka. Confusing. You'll have to excuse me if I drink during this, I have the most sore throat, it's like someone's trying to stab a razor blade down my neck. You know, which is obviously a little bit inconvenient. Ah! Good! Should probably move somewhere. Oh yeah, it's like my backyard, in the snow. It's very good. Jeremiah, we must talk. With your... What? Your our mother. Hmm. With your mother deceased, arrangements have been made regarding your upbringing. A man of my position and responsibility can't take the time to look after a young boy. First thing in the morning, you will depart for Scotland. I am sending you to study at St. Gore Boarding School in Aberdeen. You need not bother to write, as I will not have time to read your letters. Wow, what a douche. Seems a little bit mean, personally. We're having a flashback while we're walking through the nasty old, uh, sort of foresty, spooky area. <gasps> this brings me back to the last episode! Still no letters for you, Devitt. Please do not insist any further. Man, everyone's a dick in this. She's sorry, your highness. Sorry, I will keep moving. Whoa, spooky. Who? Ah, it's the school of gifted cultists. Pleased to meet you, my new classmates. And who is that? Him? Oh, that's just a bit. Pay him no mind. He's a little odd. Interesting. Hello, I'm Anthony. Anthony Beechworth. This is my first term here, and I've only just arrived. I hope we can be friends. David immediately pukes all over his shoes in a sign of embarrassing rage. I put on an accent there. Don't know why. Fancy it. Come at me. A little posh accent. See, I can do English accents. Ah. Rather than the yokel farmer one I normally have. Arr, mateys. Ruby lovers, you want to get up there? Nice, isn't it? So, looking very promising. What? What is happening? I have a ticket! Look at the ticket! Ooh, 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 let's not do that. Let's, uh, oh dear, I seem to have upset the game. We'll use the lens. The four witnesses, number four. One of them appears to have a sort of birdie kind of head. I wonder how this got in my pocket. The four witnesses. A ticket to see the play called The Four Witnesses. Fairly self-explanatory. Oh, we should probably look. A shiver runs, d runs my dorsal spine when I look at what could have been my eternal deathbed. We'll ignore the tomato sauce on the floor, I take it. My head is pounding. I feel so weak and thirsty. If I don't drink water soon, I'll faint. Dear Lord, where am I? Don't know, let's find out. I'll stay on the wall. Eyes close, ears muffle, and voices hushed in a land that loves silence. Hmm. Alright. Let's get the hell out of here. Ooh, I'm in some sort of underground cellar of doom. The light coming in from outside is dazzling. Excellent. Splat, splat. I'm in some sort of basement, I'd assume. Which is fine. 
Basements aren't that sinister. I'm in a city. Is it Aberdeen? How could I have escaped? Not sure that your class has escaped, you know. I can't see anything beyond this wall, but the dark facades of building on the far side. Oh, says anything. Let's, let's leave. I mean to get you some water, son. You seem to be walking kind of sluggish. Oh, hello. How do you do? Young man, could you please tell me where I am? He says nothing. Fine, beer dick. Still being a dick. That's fine. Well, when you fall and crack your head open, um, I will mug you, basically. Just so you know. Please, sir, could you give me some water? This ain't a charity, Toff. I only sell to paying customers, so cough up or get out. He's probably Scottish, but we're going to go with the sort of cockney weasel man. We'll ask him again. Please, sir, can I still have some water? Piss off! Fine. Alright, well, no water off the man, then. I suppose we just have a bit of a look round, really. There's a cart blocking the alley. I won't be able to pass until it's been moved. It's unfortunate. I can ask a fine gentleman in a fine top hat. An indignant in ragged clothes sits leaning against the brickwork. Oh, let's not talk to indignant then. Oh, no, that'd be terrible. What about this man here? The young man sleeps under a filthy blanket. Hmm. Sta stained and threadbare sheets struggle to dry in the muggy air. Hello, madam. A young woman suffers difficulty in breathing. It's unfortunate. Ah, maybe this fine street peddler about to uh, sort out my needs. Hello, sir. Please, I need water. Get out of here, drunk. I'm not drunk. I'm just ill. It's not very nice. Ooh, is that a... There's a man staring at me from amidst the crowd. Something in his countenance seems strange to me. Countenance? Ooh, he seems to walk off. Please, ma'am, could you tell me where I am? You don't know where you're at? Why, this is old Nickel Street Rookery. A darker, more decrepit place than like there never was. But that's in London. Ah, oh, yes! Ha! <laughs> Actions make sense. But that's in London. How could I have arrived in this slum? Mm, no. I can't seem to follow the man. It's unfortunate. Hey, lady, have a ticket. You don't want a ticket? Anyone want a ticket? No one wants a ticket. Can we look at the lady? No, I guess not. Alright, we'll just leave them. Well, this doesn't seem like the best idea to drink, but you never know. The stench in the sewer drain is nauseating. Oh, sounds legit! Let's have some water. From the pipe flows grimy water, full of soot. What? Yes! Yes, drink it! Drink it! You'll have anything right now, won't you? The water's foul odour is repulsive, but I am overcome with thirst. <laughs> we, we better now. Oh! <laughs> That was a fast reaction, but I'm not entirely sure that's the best thing. Oh, it's night time. Um, can't of it. Up you get. I must have fainted. It is dangerous to be in the old Nichols at night. I should make my way out as quickly as possible. Might be okay. A man of your stature and all. Oh, I can walk! Hooray! Oh. Whoop! Oh, everyone's gone. Can I move further this way? No. There's no one around anymore. Mm, things are still stained. Ooh, but the cart is gone. Yeah, before we progress there, let's have a quick look around here. No, oh, everyone's just left. Alright, well, let's, uh, well, let's have a quick look down the other way. Ooh, sinister. Hang on a minute, we're having a flashback. Um. Herr Dr. Wakefield is here to see you, mine hair. Show him in, Hertz. Hertz? Really? Alright, okay. Assume this is, uh, the doctor. It's about your patient, is it not? There is no trace of him. He hasn't shown up for the last sessions. I've been to his house, of course. His landlady assured me he went on a trip weeks ago and he hasn't come back home. He kept his destination for himself. Then it has happened, as I feared. What do you mean? I'm sorry, my dear friend. I first thought of this when you described your sessions with Herd of Vit. Oh, the Germans, I should have kept up the accent. Never mind. But I didn't want to upset you without need, as I hope for the best. Now, nah, I'm afraid my suspicions could be true. There are some things I'll have to verify first, though. I promise I will contact you as soon as I have learned anything important. Please, Herr Doctor, it is the utmost important that no one else knows of this matter. You have my total discretion. It appears that perhaps I'm a patient somewhere. The 
four witnesses. Well, I figured that because it was on the uh, on the chapter title at the start. Oh, I should probably click. It's waiting for me. I do apologise. You should know that feeling you never want to accidentally skip something. Okay, I feel like I've been walking these streets for hours. Surely I must be close to finding a way out of this labyrinth. Well, there's three ways to go. Let's try the. All right, let's try the stairs first. Ah, there's a few people here. Oh, that's the creepy man. I guess I need to follow him. Hello, madam. Do you hear them? It's the crows, searching for the moans of the weak and dying. They call into each other. They must have found something. Could you, uh, help me? These streets are so confusing to navigate, I'm afraid I've lost my way. Could you direct me out? Yes, lost one, I can give you direction. I have been gifted with the second sight. I can peer deep into your past and unwind the tapestry of your fate. Would you like me to close my eyes so that yours may be opened? Uh, I haven't a penny to pay you, I'm afraid. Money's of no matter here. Come close to me now. Neat. Uh, that one, please. The dying star. You lost your guide. You follow the stream, but you do not know where it goes. You think you've escaped, but actually you're getting closer and closer. The scream. It begs you to escape. Mute. It shrieks your lost name. Sharp, painful, and burning. Its voice is one, you know. Can't bother to keep up the accent. <laughs> I'll just go with the normal ones quicker. The walker. You have embarked upon a great journey, but this path must have been walked by you before. You step in your own footprints inside a circle of fire. Oh. I don't understand. What does it all mean? I can't unpick these ends. The threads you have woven in destiny are too tight, child. But you will. Oh, yes, you will. I can do no more. That is not for me to say, but for you to discover. Remember that in the fog, we only see what is closest to us. The bird remains in the distance. If you wish to leave, you must follow the path of the bird. No more direction can I give. A weird man. I am following a man. He must have passed this way. And how is that man? Tall, well-dressed, red-haired, and a cold look in his eight-bit eyes. The nightmare of which we don't talk about. All of us asleep awake have seen that man sometime. What, the hipster? No mind. Pardon me, I must go. My planet needs me. You will need a map to guide your steps. Farewell. Um, well, the man went this way, so perhaps I should, uh, you know, investigate. Hello, man! Um, it's just rubbish. Rotten scraps of food and discarded papers. Uh, hello! He's bogged off again. You must keep my miserable kingdom. You may keep my spike... Oh, you may, sorry, rather must. You may keep my spiking trusted jewels. Stay there as you will and stare into my eyes. I am a shadow shadow and will not disappoint. Should follow the man really first. We'll explore later. The glass is fogged over, but for a handprint left on the surface. Suppose I should go in, really? I smell exposition! Sweet! It's very dark, I don't dare go on. You're kidding me! Really? Really? You don't dare go on because it's dark? Oh, come off it, son. Alright, well, let's have a look around. See what we can find then. Since it's too dark. Foggy. Seems like an incredibly bad idea. Oh, I found something. Hang on. I got lost in the fog. If I had to make my way through, I need to orientate myself somehow. Alright, well. Oh, I've been here, okay. What about, what about here? What the? Oh, okay, so it all leads around the same area. Which makes sense. We need we need a smaller area. The street lamp tries to put some light in the gloom. It tries? Does it really? The boarded up window of a rundown house. Dust smears the glass, preventing me from seeing the exterior interior, I should say, rather than the exterior. Ooh, my door. I'm just breaking into someone's house. <laughs> Cuts of rancid meat lie discarded on the butcher's block. That's very lazy of him. A rank piece of meat hangs from the ceiling. Is there anything we can steal in here? I like stealing. The remains of a horse hung by a hook affixed to the wall. Its blood drains, seeping onto the, bl the floorboards. Oh, isn't that nice? I assume I need to get all of them. There we go. Sweet! I smell stuff to steal! Rusted out iron drums. Oil drums, even leaking black sludge. Oh, what's this? It's a bottle of gin. It's empty. 
I can take bottles. Bottles in adventure games are useful. This machine is old and in disrepair. It appears to be some sort of filtering machine. Despite its condition, it seems to have been just used recently. What's this? It's a glass essencer. Liquids are poured onto the top and then impurities removed through a valve at the bottom. Well, I've got a bottle. Yeah, I've seen that. So, I can use this machine to purify some liquid I get. Alright, let's keep an eye on it then. It's handy to note though. Bzzz. Well, if I find any liquid, I'll know what I can do, don't I? Onwards. Let's go this way. That's the fog way. This leads back to where I was. So we have two options here. Check this door. The gate is latched shut. I can't open it from this side. That sells that. And we can seem to be able to crawl through here. This is my last option available to me. The letter seems to be inscribed in an oily grime. It reads, Rats. Rats! Blast! Damn it! I'm not sure if that's a warning or an exclamation. The sewer is flooded here with ankle-deep pool of water. Patches of oil swirl on the surface. Use bottle. Hot oil. I close some of the oily water in my gin bottle. Because that's what we do in adventure games. There's not enough light for me to see. Lord only knows what I might stumble onto. Yeah, gee. Well, now we can go back to the purifying machine. And purify this. And get some oil, I guess. Not entirely sure what's for yet, but, uh... This is an adventure game, after all, and we just... Kind of roll with it, don't we? Uh, that way, wasn't it? I do like the quick movement. It does make things a lot quicker when moving around. There we go. Now, we can use our oily water with Das Machine! Das Machine. There we go. I pull the contents of the bottle into the essencer. The oil floats on the surface. When I open the valve, I'll drain the water until all the water has been removed. That's it. I extracted all the water. Can I, uh... Only the oil now remains. Can I have it back? <laughs> do I... Is there anything particular I need to do? To get the oil back? Hmm. So, I... Only the oil now remains. That's, that's fantastic. Can I, I need another bottle? <laughs> so nothing else for me to do in here. So, slightly puzzled. I've done what it wanted, I assume. There must be something else I can do. Hmm. Let's have another look around then. Maybe something else has appeared. Must be some more items for me to steal somewhere. That have some use. Alright, time to play Hunt the Pixel! Hmm. Let's try over here. Let's try back up this way. Hello. What have we got there? Rusty old oil lamp sits in the corner. No, it doesn't belong to anyone. You're welcome to take it if you like. I'm not sure what good it'll do with any oil, though. Aha! We have found the solution to what we need. Excellent. I'll go claim my oil, put it in my oil lamp, and then light it somehow, I assume. Excuse me, rotting carcasses, I must progress. I will now use my empty lamp on the oil that I've siphoned from the sewer that I've acquired from the bottle. Ah, adventure games. I filled the lamp with oil. I hope it might be enough to last the night. Well, do <laughs> you think this is amnesia? Please. This oil will last forever. An amnesia lasts all of two seconds. Instead of in the new amnesia, which is doesn't, doesn't need any. It's a magic lamp. Magic. Okay, so I can only assume I can now go into the house because I can now see. It's very dark. I know. Can we use the lamp somehow? Maybe I have to go for, use the lamp through the fog? Hmm, there must be some way of using the lamp. I haven't seen any fire. Maybe i talk to the lady again. She might be good. Give me a lighter, perhaps. I feel the embers look like this. Can I use the lamp? But... Aha! I've lit my lamp! 
Sorry, I'm kind of like stealing all your stuff here. Don't have a lighter. What kind of adventure here are you? All adventures here is good. No, I don't want to go this way. I'm going to go this way. Go this way. The only thing is, the character was dark. I don't know what I'll find down one of the sewers. Just me wonder if I can. I might go back there with my lamp. Now I have a lamp. Doesn't seem that sinister to me, mate. You probably could have made it. An old bottle of Saint Emilion Grand Cru is the cover of the, the cover of dust. Can't take it. Fine. Just check downstairs. Just break into this guy's house. Oh, now I'm gonna break into his back garden. Okay. Mold covers wood stacked in the shed. Judging by the resin ooze on the surface of the tree trunk, it appears to have been recently chopped down. The resin is thick and sticky liquid. I can't just pick it up with my hands. Yeah, Shemma just threw away that bottle I had, huh? The door is locked. I can't even move it. The walls of the Monolithium were crumbled with age. Hmm. Alright. I think I see something on the other side of the window, but from here I can't distinguish what it is. I can't climb up, I assume. Alright, let's go inside and go upstairs. Just nonsense on the floor here. Bright meadow. The picture has faded to a dull colour. <laughs> He's on laughing. Oh, now my eyes focus in the gloom. I see that the person sitting on the bed is an elderly woman. She's just dressed up as a young girl for some reason. She appears not to hear or see me from here. I'll need to get closer if I am to explain myself. Not before stealing your stuff. My reflection says back me through the grime. An old wardrobe. A portrait of a beautiful young dancer. Um, there's something amongst the embers. I can't put my hand in there or burn myself. Coward. Um, March the 8th, 1843. I'm exhausted. Father made me rehearse today for eight hours. By the end, the music wavered with his trembling hands. It's still a long time for the day of the show, but he insisted that everything must be perfect. One more song, he said over and over. Father got really mad at me, and he started to shout when, after many hours of rehearsal, I said that I wanted to go out and play a little bit in the street. More and more he's obsessed with the rehearsing, with concerts, with perfection. Am I not the, the one who earns the money to feed us? Am I not the, own, the one people come over all over to see and admire? Is my name not the one printed on all the posters? My name. The dolls for sale at the theatre entrance? They have my likeness, my dress, and my beautiful hair. I should be the one who makes the decisions. One more song. Yes, one more. And last song for you, Papa. Hello. No, I don't want to dance and sing anymore. It's enough for today. I want my lemonade. I want to play. Who the hell are you? Is it interesting? Um, it's her house, but... Actually, madame, I'm afraid I've never met you before. I don't know who you are. Ah, don't you recognise me? Um, I should say of course, really, from the posters. Of, of course! Oh, I was afraid that you wouldn't recognise me. You must have seen the posters of my performances. They're simply everywhere and quite wonderful. You must have seen them. Don't you think they're beautiful? Uh, weird man. I'm looking for a gentleman. He's well-dressed with red hair. Do you know him? He led me to this place. No, father. I've been practicing the latest repertoire as you ordered. I've been behaved very well today, haven't I? I want to get out of this place. Hide and seek. Oh, I do love games. I go to the fog when I want to get away. Daddy won't find me there, you see. In the fog, there are no faces. Let's play. Now, I'll stand next to the fireplace and count to three. Um, okay. Yeah, fine. Oh, I'll stand here then. One, two, three. What's the time, Mr. Wolf? Um. Hey. One, two, three. What's the time, Mr. Wolf? Oh, some douche to the piano. Of course you would immediately turn around and count again, wouldn't you? One, two, three. What's the time, Mr. Wolf? Oh, she's younger Youfed. One, two, three. What's the time, Mr. Wolf? Mr. Wolf's gonna get pissed off if you keep asking. One more song. Piers, your uh, dad's bled all over the uh, piano there. It's a little bit awkward. No, 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 you don't turn your... What the blaze just happened? My head is pounding. And where did she go? Oh, shit to steal. A pile of things on the floor after Cassie's disappearance. There is a mask. Creepy. It's a porcelain mask. Of course it is. It broke when it fell. The distorted features. There's a grotesqueness to them. I don't like the look of it. 
And look, underneath the mask, a photograph. It has a note. Little Catty Show. There is a girl lit up by the spotlight in the musical next sitting to a live piano. Broken mask. There's no piano in here. Shenanigans. <laughs> Use mask on fireplace. Fine. Use lamp on fireplace. Use ticket on fireplace. You're boring! Can I open the wardrobe? The wardrobe is locked. <laughs> Use lamp on fireplace. Fine. Oops. Use broken thing on fire. It's fine. There's a laughing man. But should investigate. Don't like no mirth in these dark times. Seems like he's coming from here. The doorknob is missing. This seems familiar. The man in the picture is quite a hypnotic gaze. Open sesame. Oh, hello. Sorry, I've broken into your house, haven't I? A painting of a beautiful young lady with a peaceful expression. She looks like one of Raphael's angels. Oh. Hello there, sir. You are right? No, no, no! Did I not pray enough? Have I not written faithfully every last night you screwed into me? Middle C up to A. Measure. G up to C. Tied. F. Second violin. Bar 2. Middle C up to A. Double note E. G. C. No. This is supposed to be a masterpiece. Viola C. Up an octave. And then up to G. What? What? Who do you think you are? Are you blind, man? Can't you see I'm creating the angel's voice? The work! C to A, an octave higher. A fragile voice flutters around the strophe. No! No, 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 no! Hands swallow you, laugh at you. I lost it again. You're right, sir. Oh, clearly, it's a perfect. Uh, you are not a mate! My inspiration, too, is lost. Quite lost. In the fog, the notes moan. Just her. Who was she? Oh, beautiful Daphne. The best soloist that a composer could have. The voice of an angel, what made my music possible. She would stand there by the window. The wind caressed her cheeks. It danced in her golden hair. Her dress glowed like an ember in the dust sun. <sighs> Are you writing a letter to Penthouse or something? Good lord, man. What happened to her? She was very delicate, like a flower in the desert, like a petal in the storm. The sickness, it just swept her away. He voice? Her voice, I assume. Her voice, my god, her voice. It came from heaven. She was the angel of my music. The mausoleum. The mausoleum outside the house. I always say that wrong. <laughs> mausoleum, I should say. Don't know why I say it the other way. It's just habits of saying it wrong. Blame my father. Um, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> outside the house. Is that where Daphne is? Buried. That's right. I visited her many nights, and I've even slept beside her on the cold, wet stone floor. Weird man. I'm following a man through. Come to it. Come to think of it, maybe he's following me. He has a red beard and wears a cape. I sometimes find this man too among my notes. I feel him close to me at times. Please, I need to get out of this place. You ask me you ask me for words, but words are betrayers. They're dirty. Music. Just music remains beautiful, but it's prisoner inside all of us. We must set it free. I can't help you now. Not until my work is finished. My work is the important thing. She was my only inspiration. I must go. Let music and singing surround you, my man. Look for the Simurg. Um, okay. I steal your shit. Paper. Bound up in a roll. Seems to be a discarded musical score. Yoink. Oh. The, the wallpaper is torn. A tailor's mannequin. Why is it beside the window? Hmm. Can I give him the score? No? Broken. Nope. Okay. Yes, yes, I'll, I'll let you uh, play. Hmm. The only laughing man remains, but I can't seem to get in there. So let's try it up. Looks like someone was locked in here, huh? The cage must have housed a huge bird, only a feather remains, which of course I will stick. Really? Just look at the size of the bars, man! You could I need to find some sort of thing to put my hand in. Um, it looks like the lyrics were a song entitled The Last Song For You. The verses are scrawled so poorly as to make them illegible. This piano is so dusty, I dare say it hasn't been played in years. I wonder if it still works. Something is preventing one of the keys from depressing. Uh, okay, can we look? There was a key hidden underneath. Handy. I wonder if that will open the doors downstairs. 
place the key on the cage? No? It says this door was locked, right? Let's find out. The door is not locked, it's just missing the doorknob. Oh, fine. Be like that. Do we see a locked door around here? I don't think we did, do we? Oh, wait, outside. The, um... The crypt, it was locked, wasn't it? Let's go find out. Dude, excuse me, I need a drink. My voice is killing me. Mm. Lots of reading in this, you see. Oh, there we go. It's Pepsi Max, by the way, which I highly recommend. 